What's up my YouTube family? I hope everybody is doing okay out there in these complicated times. I'm just coming up with this quick video on what is the best investment in a recession. And in reality, this investment is the best investment, not in just a recession, but any time, because it's an investment in your own self, my case myself, your case yourself. And this investment will give you the biggest return especially in a time like this where the stock market is so volatile going up and down all the time we don't know what to do personally i was looking at it i didn't know what to do so i'm putting money right now on real estate the mortgage so at least that way that's um i'm not making that much money but it is 4.5 percent interest that i will not be paying later also what i'm doing is i'm putting some money on some online bank savings bank accounts and over there i get two percent one of them six percent back interest return because if you just go with the regular big bank savings account they give you back 0.01 percent they give you back 0.001 percent which is nothing anyway In just a second, I will share with you 17 strategies that you and me can do to invest in our own selves that will provide us with the biggest return. I will just address two things before that, which is three months quarantine. This, if you wonder what happens, this is what happens. No barbershop. And anyway, the other thing I was going to mention is that um, my stepfather tested positive. Thank God he is doing much better now. He has the light cough and um, yeah, yeah, he is light cough, but he can breathe much better now and he is able, I think he's already working again. But for some reason, my mother, she tested negative, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because uh, they live together. I don't want to say they live on top of each other because that sounds weird, but they share a bathroom, they share a kitchen. They are in that small space. He tested positive. He had all the symptoms and everything. He's feeling better, thank God. And I asking myself, trying to understand what has happened. So two things that I've been thinking. One thing is that 80% of the people we know, they are immune. They have no symptoms or they get light symptoms. 20% of the people suffer a lot and 1% don't make it from what we understand. I'm no doctor. Everybody do their own research, but from I'm just a guy on YouTube. But um, anyway, so one explanation is that maybe she just is immune or had extremely light symptoms. The other explanation is that it was a miracle. They sharing everything. Share, they sleep in different rooms, but still they share in the bathroom, sharing the kitchen. And they're right all the time together in that small space. So for her not to have caught it would be a miracle when we talk about something that is so infectious, a disease that is so infectious. Anyway, the other thing is that uh, my my own test just came back. I'm going to put the microphone down so the sound might not be so good. I'm going to open it and I'm going to check uh, what has happened. And uh, just hope the, the result is going to be the best it can be. So... <clears throat> yes, I've been feeling well, and th this is good. This is good. It says here negative. From what I understand, I'll, I'll try to see if you. If, I don't know if you. I don't know if you guys can uh, try to fix my. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but you can see it. It says uh, negative, and I guess that's that's good. That's a good thing. Anyways, guys, okay, let's get to the video right now. Alright guys, so these are the 17 investments in, in our own selves that for the most part will not cost any money or don't necessarily have to cost any money to be achieved. Also, they're not in any order from number 1 to 17 as the best to worst or most important or least important. I think it varies from person to person and uh, what your goal or your needs or my goals and my needs are and will be. Anyway, number one on the list is going to be the body. So you could do go to the gym at this time is 
Now, usually, you, I think you can go to the gym many places, but also you could do uh, push-ups, sit-ups, could run, could run on the block, run around the house, run in place. Also, the body includes, I believe, a diet, a proper diet that will that is extremely helpful. What, what you put in will help you achieve a good hormone balance in your brain, make you happy, and everything else, etc. Anyway, number two on the list is going to be the mind, which involves reading a book or um, acquiring knowledge that um, also requires knowledge that from a hopefully from a good source because right now there's so much I don't know I would say misinformation but anyway it doesn't need to cost doesn't need to cost anything you can read a book there are free books or you can uh, I don't know anywhere any source you can get to acquire information also the mind it doesn't only have to be a book you could watch a show that will provide information or I don't know uh, call it online college course and anyway there's infinity amounts of sources where you could uh, build up your mind another I mean number three is going to be free your space from clutter Train this place from Carter is great. It will help you focus more. And um, I'm not going to get too deep into this, but from what I understand, seeing too much things in one space, even if we don't realize it, it's stressful on the mind. And uh, by cleaning, cleaning, clearing, you also clean your mind and you don't even fully understand. I don't know. It works their ways, but I believe it and it works for me. Number four on the list is going to be meditation. Also, Similar to meditation, but not. I'm not saying it's the same, but it's praying. For me, it works great. You once you calm down, and you you stay put for a little while and bring things to your mind, and uh, you focus on them. Sometimes I'm meditating or asking God for a solution, and just by focusing on it, sometimes He may be sending, or by focusing on it, a solution pops up. In number five on the list is going to be making a list. For many years now, I, I have many lists, and once I make that list, I can put it aside and not worry about it, especially late at night before going to sleep. Sometimes I can go to sleep or any, whatever it is. I make that list. I put all those items on the list, and now I know I can fully disconnect from those things. And I know that in the morning, I will pick up that list back, and then, okay, now you're going to be bothering me and stress me, but for those... I don't know whatever six hours eight hours of sleep I don't need, I don't need to worry about it and I'm not gonna forget it. it's on the list I'll pick it up eventually all right number six is be kind to yourself be kind to yourself sometimes we chew tough on our own selves we demand too much we are too judging or whatever so the best way I would say to approach this would be treat yourself the same way you treat a good friend Yes, expect the best that you can do from you, but what's the point of going beyond that? Anyway, number seven, doctor checkup. A doctor checkup is extremely important. It could uh, detect um, hormonal imbalances or those things are serious. It may not sound so serious, but it could lead to depression or something worse. Anyway, another thing you could detect is nutrition levels of some vitamin or something like in the north hemisphere or the planet we all need to take vitamin d pills because we don't get enough sun or whatever number eight is enough sleep many studies have shown that enough sleep is i don't know six hours eight hours enough sleep for you is it's very important for all of us and enough sleep varies from person to person because depends on the also person to person and the amount of of uh, stress that you have put on your body during the day if you just were having a very very intense day you may require 10 12 hours of sleep and uh, number nine is start a good habit a good habit could be an infinity amount of things or it could be it could also be something more simple like if you don't brush your teeth before going to sleep, you could brush your teeth or start flossing once a day or maybe drinking more water, drink a glass of water. All those things are good habits to start. Another investment in yourself, number 10, is do the most important thing first. 
Sometimes we have all these things to do, and the most important thing we say next, we do it later, I do it after. And at the end of the day, we don't have energy, we may procrastinate and not do it. So if you put on the first parts of the day, like the most important things, the things that will pay your bills, or put it first, because that's when you are most efficient. Number 11 is don't sit all day. That could cause bad posture, it's bad for your spine and um, other reasons. Number 12 is never stop learning a new skill. You can learn a new skill um, going through a class or watching a, a video. Number 13 is kill a debt. Killing a debt is great and it, all debts are not good. You can save on interest, save on stress. Number 14, relationships. This one is extremely important. It's very good for us to read ourselves from negative people that are bringing us down. And once we do that, it gives us more time to focus on the people that really matter. And number 15 is consider a job change. More than ever in a situation like this, it's a great time to think about a job change something useful or something that you really love, especially if you weren't happy doing your previous job, it's an option. In a time like this, more than ever. All right, guys, we are almost done. Number 16 is if you feel lost or discouraged. If you do feel lost or discouraged, you can find a mentor, a coach, or a community that share your same goals and that will provide you with great support. Number 17 and last one is allow yourself to take a break. Sometimes we want to accomplish something and then we just keep it, keep it, and then sometimes we're not reaching um, results. So if you give yourself a, if we give ourselves a, a break, once we come back to it, we come back with much more productivity. Uh, so these are the 17. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Be safe.